I'm Anil Kumar. Let me thank my subscribers for taking keen interest and asking for a test paper on polynomials. So I've compiled a few videos which have short answers and I hope that is going to help most of them. So this one is on polynomial characteristics. It's a very simple true or false video. I like you to read, understand each and every statement and then answer them. You may also provide an example to show why you say false to a statement, right? Okay. Or sometimes you may prove it to be true. Let that be an additional exercise. So let's go through this polynomial quiz. True or false? A. Even degree function is an even function. B. Cubic polynomial can have 0, 1, or 2 turning points. C. For graph of f of x equals 2, x squared times 1 minus x times 2x plus 2. As x approaches infinity, y approaches infinity, right? So that's the end behavior. D. The function x to the power of 4 plus 2x squared plus 1 never crosses x-axis. E. A function can be both even or odd function. You can pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. I will also review a few concepts. A. Even degree function is an even function. This statement is true or false. Let's take an example. If I take y equals to x squared, it's even, right? But if I take, let me write function notation, y equals to x minus 1 whole square. In that case, this is not even. If equals to x squared, let me sketch it here just to make you understand why x minus 1 whole square is not even. y equals to x squared is a graph kind of like this, right? Now when I say x minus 1 whole square, then this x square graph shifts one unit to the right. So what you get here is kind of like this. Do you see that? Okay, so let me just make this. Now as you can see, the line of symmetry is not y-axis. It is at 1. Do you see that? It is at 1. So it is not even. And therefore, the first one is false. So I'll write f for false. Second, cubic polynomial can have 0, 1, or 2 turning points. So let's try to sketch cubic polynomials and figure it out, right? That's the simplest thing to do. So a cubic polynomial, I could do like this, x cubed, right? It doesn't turn, so that is 0 is okay. Now, now let's say we have something, a cubic polynomial of leading coefficient positive is going to start from here and end there, correct? So we have to start from here and end there. So if I want to make one turn, then starting from here, I'm actually coming towards this side. But I have to end there, right? So I have to take another turn. Do you understand? That means we cannot have one turn. We could have zero or two turns. Do you see that? And therefore, this statement is also false. Now the next one is, for the graph of the given function, as x approaches infinity, y approaches infinity. So let's try to sketch this graph. Okay, so let's try to sketch this graph. Now, let me rewrite this. We could write this function as x squared. This is 1 minus x. That means I could factor out minus and write this as x minus 1, right? So I'm factoring out minus. Now here we could factor 2. Let me factor 2 and then I'll write x plus 2. Is it okay? Now what is the leading coefficient? Leading coefficient for us is minus 2, right? Minus 2. Perfect. When the leading coefficient is negative, when the leading coefficient is negative, then the function is right side down, not up, right? So as x approaches positive infinity, y is approaching 
negative infinity not positive infinity correct you could also sketch the function and do it but that is not really required right so whenever leading coefficient is negative right side is down so y really approaches negative infinity well the sketch will be the degree is one two i mean two three and four so it's even degrees so that is the end behavior both sides on the same zeros are at zero and at i'm sorry this is one okay good i saw it plus and minus one right so one here and one here so it's kind of a linear function correct where the graph goes and this is of order two so when you're going from this side you enter there and then you have to reverse back bounce back because its order is two and then come like this correct so i can sketch this graph as okay so we could do like this joining the points which you're talking about do you see that so that becomes the graph for the function minus one plus one and zero so here also the statement is false the next statement is the function x to the power of 4 plus 2x squared plus 1 never crosses x-axis. That is true. For all values, we have positive, right? Both x to the power of 4 and x squared are greater than or equal to 0. Plus 1 makes f of x greater than or equal to 1, right? So, so the minimum value in this case is going to be one so this function never crosses x-axis leading coefficient is positive it opens up right so it opens up and therefore this statement is true the next question is very important a function can be both even and odd function now i've seen this question so many times in test papers and very few students are able to answer there are many examples. One of them is just before you. How about this function? Now, it is symmetric about the point origin and it is also symmetric about this line. Do you see that? What do you call this function? The x-axis itself is one of very good examples. The function is fx is equal to zero, right? So the x-axis where the y is zero, domain is all real numbers, is a very good example where the function is both even and odd. So this is also true. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope with this example you understand many concepts of polynomials and you'll be able to perform much better. You can always share and subscribe to my videos. Feel free to post questions, ask questions and if you like put some likes. Thank you and all the best.